But first, I'm going to get about 800,000 new puncture wounds on my arm. Aha, much better. Hey, I'm Barry with Empty Hammock. So there's a few spots in this concrete floor that ended up with little ridges, little bumps from when I was smoothing everything out uh, with the bull float. Uh, and I need to make them go away because when I put the flooring down, it needs to be flat. So I'm gonna get out the grinder and flatten everything out. I'm doing this now before we finish up the walls because it's gonna make a lot of dust. So this part of the video is so boring that uh, I figured I'd tell you a story while I'm working. True story. I was 17, working as a trash man. Had to get up at like 4.30 in the morning every day to get there on time. So I uh, got up, went downstairs, started getting my breakfast together, getting my lunch together. And before I even ate anything that day, I was suddenly smacked to the ground with unbelievable nausea like i could not believe how fast and how hard i needed to barf ran into the bathroom started dry heaving everywhere went and sat down on the couch and i was like well maybe it'll pass you know maybe it's just a, a a quick bug or something i don't know whatever but it didn't i started shaking and started getting really weak i was like there is no way i can go into work like this because i had to hang out on the back of a trash truck the entire day. So reluctantly, I called in. The boss man was not happy. Uh, that route that day was particularly difficult. Really, really busy, lots of trash. So anyway, hung up with him, went and sat back down on the couch. And probably 15 or 20 minutes was all of a sudden completely better. I had Zero nausea, I felt like I could go run a marathon. Super weird. So I called back in and uh, got the secretary in the office. And she said, I'm sorry, they've already left. You know, so just stay home. Okay, whatever. Made me upset because I really wanted to work because I'm weird. Anyway, the next morning, 4.30, get up in the morning, feel fine, go into work, walk into the office. And uh, I'll never forget the boss man was sitting there behind the desk and he just looked at me with this sort of perplexed, weird expression on his face. And he said, where were you yesterday? And I was like, oh, look, I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. I suddenly was just overwhelmed with nausea. And he interrupted me and uh, he said, come here, I want to show you something. So we walked into the garage through the doorway there, walked around one truck to the truck that I'm usually on, and a sudden absolute cold chill went down my spine. The spot where I always stood on the back of that truck had completely gotten caved in. The little, little square about this big that I sat uh, stood on with my hands on the little handles was just accordioned, completely flat. I was like, what on earth? And he said, yesterday, a pickup truck full of gravel blew a stop sign and slammed the back of the truck so hard that it shifted the full uh, trash truck about three or four feet to the side. The guy on the other side got thrown off. He was thankfully okay, just banged up a little bit. But if I had been there, I mean, you know, I would have just been paying attention to the, the truck. I wouldn't have been looking behind me. I would have been absolutely, my, you know, probably not have completely killed or been killed, but pretty close. And he looked at me and he said, so why did you call out again yesterday? Well, I knew, <laughs> obviously I knew that it was nothing more than God protecting me because I think that 
God knew that it would take something that severe, like you're going to puke now, kind of knock me to the ground to get me to not go in. And uh, as soon as it was too late for me to go in, he said, okay, here you go. I took it back away from me. Absolute nothing but the direct hand of God, which is kind of, of cool because I've learned quite a few times in my life now that the perception of what happens that's bad, that happens like, uh, you know, now, I can get all upset about it, but there's a very real possibility that that was God protecting me from something. And I've actually seen quite a few times in my life since then where, yeah, obviously, you know, I look back in retrospect, I'm like, oh my gosh, Lord, thank you for not letting me die. But at the time I was really upset about it. It's kind of cool. So I'm curious, have you had something like that happen where you don't understand what's going on, you don't know why it happens, but it does? you upset about it, but then later you find out that it was God keeping you from getting killed? If you do, put it below. I'd really like to hear about it. I think that's it. Everything is nice and smooth and ready to be painted, hopefully. I had a question about how to finish off a corner. I'm sorry I don't remember the name of the person, um, but I'll show you just real quick with a knife. Uh, this is a 12 inch knife. The corner bead acts as a pretty good anchor. Put lots of mud on the back of the knife and go all the way across. And you can see how much the knife flexes. They're designed to bend. Little bit of pressure on the corner bead side, lots of pressure on the other side, and go down. That's how you create that fade, or the, the taper, and then sand it. And you just go up and down a bunch of times. That's how you do a corner. Anyway, okay, bye.